Good morning and welcome to the Senior Athletes Awards presentation for the Butler High School class of 2020. I'm glad everyone could join us today. First, I'd like to give a big welcome and a thank you to the Butler High School administration, our principal, Mr. Fitzgerald, our assistant principal, Mr. Benson, all the other administrators and staff at the high school, our superintendent, Dr. Johnson, the Butler High School Board of Education, and our coaches and all of you parents at home for your support for our teams and our athletic department for this past year. We couldn't do what we do without your support. Thank you very much. I'd also like to thank Mrs. Debbie Sackman from the BHS Athletic Department for all the hard work she puts in for the whole year with our athletic program, as well as thanking her for helping me put this awards presentation together. I'd also like to thank our athletic trainer, Mr. Sven Lilienthal, and our Butler High School school nurse, Mrs. Tracy Monsko, for helping take care of our athletes' medical needs throughout the year. Thank you very much for your help. I also need to, before we begin, thank the Butler High School Booster Club, who sponsors this awards program, pays for the awards for the students, um, does an awfully good job of supporting our teams throughout the year. Um, each senior athlete will get a plaque listing all of their varsity athletic accomplishments over the past four years of Butler High School. Um, then some of our students will also get a four-year letter winner plaque if they earn four varsity letters in any one particular sport. And then we have a bunch of special awards to give out at the end of the program as well. Again, all of those awards paid for, paid for and sponsored by the Booster Club. The Booster Club does a great job of supporting our teams, our coaches, the athletes, and the school um, over the years. A special thanks to some of the officers who are probably on their way out of the Booster Club. Um, they put in a lot of time with their children over the years and helping the Booster Club. So a special, thank out, uh, special shout out and thank you to Mr. Bob Wallowitz, Ms. Deanna Pollins, Ms. Amanda LoCicero, Mr. Ray Gregg. Thank you very much. They've been involved for many years. And my rough estimate, without looking at exact financial records, is that in the 10 years or so that I've been at Butler High School as the athletic director, the Booster Club has raised and spent well in excess of $100,000. That's right, over $100,000 on our athletes in support of our programs. So thank you to the Booster Club for all of their hard work. And I look forward to working with the new Booster Club officers in the years to come. Mr. Tony Presti, Ms. Debbie Wagner, Ms. Michelle Redner, and Mr. and Mrs. Jason and Becky Karpowicz. Look forward to working with you in the years ahead. So as I indicated before, um, we're gonna give out a bunch of awards. We'll start with individual awards for the senior athletes. Um, then we will go to the four-year letter winners for those athletes that earn four varsity letters in a sport. And then we will finish with um, some special athletic awards. Before we do that, I first want to mention some awards that are not going to be given out at this presentation. They've already been given out um, to certain athletes. Um, they would normally be attending lunches or dinners by different organizations, but just to let everybody know and to share some other special awards that some of our athletes were able to um, be the recipients of. The NJSIA, the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association, provides a Scholar Athlete Award to one Butler High School student. And the recipient of that award this year is Stanley Chen. Congratulations, Stanley. Um, also, the Morris County Athletic Directors Association presents a scholarly athlete award to one boy and one girl from each of the counties in of schools in Morris County. And our 2020 winners from Butler High School are Tate Toscano and Jacob Luciani. And then our athletic conference that we participate in, the New Jersey Interscholastic Conference, gives a sportsmanship award to one male and one female from each of the, the schools in the conference. And our Sportsmanship Award winners from the NJSI, NJIC this year are Jody Bedell and Justice Struble. Congratulations to everybody. Now we're gonna read through the names of our senior athletes who will be receiving a plaque. We will be working on the distribution of that um, along with a lot of other year-end awards and, and things that need to get back and forth between the students and the school. But here we go to our Butler High School varsity athletes in the class of 2020. Girls basketball player, Tori Luzo. Wrestler, Julian Amadio. Cross country winter track and spring track runner, Servando Batista. Baseball player, John Beck. Softball player and manager on the boys basketball team, Jody Bedell. Boys basketball and baseball player, Hunter Beveridge. Football player, 
Ryan Brady. Bowler, Anthony Campoli. Football player and wrestler, Anthony Catalano. Stanley Chen for winter track and spring track. Anthony Calavito for wrestling. Julie Decker for girls soccer. Cheerleader, Rachel DiPiola. Football player and baseball player, James DeRosa. Baseball player, Vincent DiGirolamo. Football player and boys basketball player, Christopher Dino. Matthew Iman for football. Abigail Fieldhouse, who competed for gymnastics and was a manager of the baseball team. Wrestler Juan Gonzalez. Girls basketball manager and softball player Sydney Gray. Boys soccer player Ackerley Hernandez. Bowler Brendan Hinchman. Field hockey player and winter track athlete Taylor Sue. And spring track. Sorry about that, Taylor. Golfer Christopher Jewett. Girls soccer player Lauren Lippi. Football player and wrestler Jacob Luciani. Tucker Lynch for football and wrestling. Austin Mayer for soccer and spring track. Jenna Migliorino, cheerleading. Patrick Monahan, football and basketball. Spencer Miles for football. Elizabeth Nafs for field hockey and winter track. Evan Ortiz, winter track and spring track. Jordan Ortiz, boys soccer and wrestling. Amanda Osmolowski, girls soccer and girls basketball. And spring track, sorry Amanda. Rachel Parisi, field hockey and manager on the boys basketball team. Nicholas Parada, boys basketball. Hannah Perry, cheerleading, spring track and manager of the wrestling team. Cheerleading, Alyssa Polito. Jason Polins, football and boys basketball. Federico Reyes, football and wrestling. Patrick Reyes, baseball. Sean Riordan, football and baseball. Casey Scott, girls soccer manager, girls basketball and softball. Brendan Semerero, boys basketball. Ethan Samilis, winter track and spring track. Evan Smith, football, basketball and baseball. Matthew Stevens, winter track and spring track. Justice Struble, football and boys basketball. Megan Sweeney, field hockey manager and fencing. Andrew Thomas, boys soccer. Kate Toscano, field hockey, winter track and spring track. Dane Turner for golf. Evan Van Letten in baseball. Emma Vanderhoff, field hockey, winter and spring track. Ashley Victor, cheerleading. Joseph Fatone, boys basketball and spring track. Joseph Boley, cross country winter track and baseball. Patrick Boley, cross country winter track and baseball. Joe Walsh, football. Emily Weinbrock, girls soccer. Matthew Wallowitz, football. Thomas Yazdi, golf. Brianna Ziegler, fencing. And Madison Zucker, in cheerleading. Congratulations to the varsity athletes in the class of 2020. Take a little break of water. Anybody want any coffee? Next in our awards program, we would like to honor those athletes in the senior class that earned four varsity letters in a particular sport. So that's getting a varsity letter all four years of high school freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year. Very difficult to do, have to be able to, to function at a high level coming in to high school as a freshman, and then having the ability to continue that excellence for all four years of their high school career. So to honor those athletes 
In the sport of soccer, earning four varsity letters, Ackerley Hernandez. In the sport of cross country, Joseph Boley and Patrick Boley. In the sport of cheerleading, Rachel DiPiola, Jenna Migliorino, Hannah Perry, Ashley Victor, and Madison Zucker. In the sport of field hockey, earning four varsity letters, Emma Vanderhoff. In fencing, Megan Sweeney and Brianna Ziegler. In boys basketball, Patrick Monahan and Jason Polins. In the sport of wrestling, J Jacob Luciani. In the sport, in, I'm sorry, in multiple sports, uh, we have one athlete who earned four varsity letters in girls basketball as well as softball, and that's Casey Scott. Congratulations to our four-year varsity letter winners in the class of 2020. Next, we have some honorary awards that we give out every year. A lot of them are named for people in the Butler community um, that held a special place in, in the hearts of the school um, and the town. Um, the coaches get together, they nominate, we talk about, we discuss, and we try to give out some awards to some of those members of the senior class that exhibited some really high ideals um, that we like our Butler athletes to possess. So here we go with the special awards. First award is the Armed Forces Award. This is awarded to the male and female student athlete who ranks highest in their graduating class. Congratulations to Kate Toscano and Stanley Chen for winning the Armed Forces Award. The next award is the Don Haskins Award. Don Haskins Award is presented to one athlete who has excelled in the classroom, who has demonstrated his or her service to Butler High School and the surrounding community, and most importantly, has upheld the Butler Bulldog values and traditions. The winner of the 2020 Don Haskins Award is Jacob Luciani. Our next award is the Gerald Crean Award. Gerald Crean was a multi-sport athlete who graduated from Butler High School in 1939. After serving in the Army during World War II, Jerry returned to the area and worked, with a, worked a variety of jobs, eventually joining the maintenance staff in the Butler school system. He also became an assistant football coach at the high school. Some of his greatest contributions were made on the freshman level because of his natural teaching skills and the values he instilled in our athletes. This award recognizes strength of character, willingness to sacrifice for the good of the team, the love of athletic competition, loyalty to the Butler Athletic Program, and the dedication to becoming the best you can be. It is given to one male and one female athlete of the senior class. Congratulations to the 2020 Gerald Crean Award winners, Casey Scott and Tucker Lynch. The Jim White Award. Jim White was a member of the class of 1944. After, as a letter winner in football, Jim White worked to the limits of his ability, demonstrated consistent improvement through an exceptional work ethic. He was also highly respected for his moral character and outstanding citizenship. The award goes to one football player who embodies those attributes exemplified by Jim White with an emphasis on character, citizenship, and consistent improvement. The winner of the 2020 Jim White Award is James DeRosa. Our next award is the Kim Barrett Award. Kim Barrett was a three-sport athlete who passed away in the spring of her sophomore year from an undetected heart ailment. She was a well-rounded individual who was a musician in the band and highly involved in a variety of school activities. Her circle of friends encompassed all spectrums of the school population where she earned respect from all who knew her. Kim was an unselfish athlete who did all that she was asked of her, all that was asked of her, and truly enjoyed the successes of her teammates. She possessed high moral character and exceptional work ethic and played to her ability. She applied these characteristics to her efforts in the classroom as well. This award is given to that one outstanding female scholar athlete who reaches her potential in the classroom 
as well as on the athletic field. Congratulations to the 2020 Kim Barrett Award winner, Amanda Osmolowski. The Christine Henderson Award is named after Christine Henderson, who was a three-sport athlete who played with reckless abandon and enthusiasm that was unparalleled. She preferred positions on the team that were the most difficult and where all the action was. She was a goalie in the field, on the field hockey team and was a catcher on the softball team. Kim's outgoing personality, sense of humor, and infectious enthusiasm made her an invaluable member of her teams. Her coaches never knew, never quite knew what she might do in any given situation on the field, but they could never fault her effort and her intentions. Christine passed away at the age of 21 from cancer, and some of her teammates established this award in her memory because of the, the example she set and their appreciation for her positive impact that she had on their high school experience. This award is given to one individual, either male or female, in Christine's honor. The winner of the 2020 Christine Henderson Award is Jason Polins. And our last special award is the Dennis Van Orden Award. Dennis Van Orden was a multi-sport athlete at Butler High School who lost his life in a tragic accident. This award was established by his teammates who re respected his strong character, his work ethics, loyalty, and his friendship. Dennis was an excellent student who was positively involved in a variety of school activities. He exhibited leadership skills by both example and by his actions. Most known for his efforts on the football field, Dennis was a quote unquote tough athlete who gave more than 100% and set the standard for others to follow. His character was above reproach. This award is intended for athletes who play to the limits of their ability, are unselfish with their willingness to sacrifice for the team, and who meet all responsibilities as a team leader well beyond the norm. It is given to one male and one female athlete each year. The winners of the 2020 Dennis Van Orden Award are Jody Bedell, and Evan Smith. Congratulations to all those seniors for uh, receiving these special awards. In closing, just a few comments to our parents and our athletes. First, to our parents, thank you very much for all that you've done for your children and our student athletes over their years at Butler High School. Lots of missed meals, Lots of wash in the middle of the night, lots of trying to run out of work early to go to games, um, missing family functions to attend weekend contests, evening contests, uh, all the things that you do on a daily basis to help your son or daughter to be successful both in school and on the field of athletic competition. So thank you very much to all of the parents. To the athletes, I normally say this time every year to the athletes, to turn around and give a hug and a kiss and a thanks to mom and dad and everybody in your family for helping you for all that they did for you um, so that you could compete and enjoy your high school experience. So please tell mom and dad and everybody at home, thank you very much. I would also ask the athletes at some point, maybe you can't do it right at this moment, but either through an email or hopefully in person at one point in the not too distant future, that you can send a thank you to your coaches for all that they've done for you, for all the lessons you've learned on the field, for all of the experiences you've had. Um, hopefully you've learned a lot about not only the sport that you're participating in, but also about life and more importantly about yourself through your participation in athletics. Obviously, we hope that you've gained something more important than just the wins and the losses through your participation in high school athletics. And finally, uh, in closing, I would just like all the athletes to be happy and proud of all that they've accomplished, even in the strange times that we're in. Don't let the circumstances around you define who you are. You, the athlete, can define who you are. And in the end, as I've told many athletes over my 20 years that I've been involved in youth and high school sports, the only things that we can control in our lives are our attitude and our effort. We cannot control what happens to us on the field of play. Uh, if an official makes a bad call, if we get hurt, if the weather's bad, 
if the sportsmanship or, or lack of it from our opponent, we don't control any of that. Nor do we control the greater world around us. But we do have control over how we react to what happens to us. We control our attitude about what we do, and we control the amount of effort that we give to what we do. Attitude and effort. With that, I thank you for turning in to our Senior Awards, Senior Athlete Awards presentation. I thank the class of 2020 for your participation in our athletic teams. I wish you good luck in your future endeavors after Butler High School, and I look forward to celebrating your accomplishments with you in person very soon. Thank you. It takes more to be a Bulldog.